YouTube, it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker. Got another Monday thrift haul for you. Did really good today. Got several pieces to repurpose. I've been on a painting repurposing kick. So I will show you those items. And I am compiling a video to show you how I have redone some of those items. So it it is coming, I promise. And what else? And I broke something today. <laughs> It seems worse in the summer when I break things. But uh, yeah, I got something out of the bag and I was like, no, but it looks like it can be glued back together. So let's hope that it can. So let's jump right in. I have a whole bunch of things in twos, which is really strange, but with me, who knows? So let me show you what I got. I got these adorable hot air balloon pictures. They were, $2.99 each. They're not too big. Uh, and then this one. So I paid $3 for both. This is kind of cool because this is the look I'm going for on some of the things I'm redoing. Kind of a shabby, chic, beat up look. Original price on this was $12.95. It was $3.99. Then I paid two. Just a regular old box. I got this adorable cork board. It's uh got a flower on it and it's the uh, burlap and it was two dollars it says lovely designs by amy so amy i have one of your lovely designs <laughs> it has a very tall uh, ribbon on top so i may shorten that a bit otherwise i think that would look kind of funny hanging that with that's such a big ribbon there but that's just me i got a longer burger basket not basket purse. I found two. This one's a little more desirable than the other one. This one is very clean and I only paid two dollars for that one and underneath it is a little, I think it's a Victoria's Secret bag. It was a dollar fifty and I need that for lugging around a few things so that I'm going to keep. I have this jewelry tree. It's in a like a vintagey silver color. It was only two fifty. Got another no iron per cal uh, double bed fitted sheet. These always do really well. This one was only a dollar ninety nine, so I paid a whole dollar for it. Uh, let's go to this side now. These are two items I found separately, but I'm going to put them together. This is like really cool. And when I first saw this, I'm like, yeah, some people like uh, make like a candle holder out of. Uh, maybe like a mason jar or something with a little burlap and lace, and I thought that would be cute. This was only a dollar ninety nine or a dollar, and then I found this item, which still has a tag on it, Zodax. It is glass inside of this little metal cage, and it has this hanger. So I think I'm going to shorten the hanger up, but wouldn't that look cute hanging up on that? So yeah, I'm going to put those together, and this, I said, was only two, so $3 for both, and if I put them together, I could probably ask a good $18 for that. So yeah, it's crazy to find things that actually you can put together in the same shopping trip. Um, here's the broken item. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is uh, like, a, kind of like a resin plaster. Um, the awesome thing about these, of course, before they were broke is there was they were sold together and it was $2.99 so $1.50 for both now if you look really close when you put this together it's like you can barely tell and this was one of the items that I was going to paint uh, white with the acrylic paint and then just kind of rub it off so yeah, that is a repurposed item. Uh, do you remember a week or two ago, I bought a real cute bird frame and it had no glass. So I picked this little photo frame up. It was only 50 cents, 99 cents originally. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, was it a four by six or was it a five by seven? I guess I'll find out when I go upstairs. <laughs> I got this adorable little finial. It's got a few little chips, which I can fix up. I have like a gold pen. I can take care of that. That was only two. This didn't have a price at the second place I go to. This looks handmade to me. 
Um, a little bit of this is coming up, so I'm going to have to repair that. But it didn't have a price on it. So I took it to the back. She goes, oh, just take it up front. They'll put a price on it. So they put, I think, $3.99, so then it was two. I got two of these, and there was four of them total uh, for $2.99 each or $3 for both. Uh, they're stuck together. They're made to look that way. I've bought these before. In fact, I have one at my booth now with my Lucky Bamboo. So that was pretty cool. I got a stack of old books. They have buy four, get one free, and then they were half. So each of these was $3, so three, six, nine, twelve, and then the last one was free, then they were six. So that's like a buck twenty each. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cover them like a book cover style with a map, and then the edges I'm going to gild with gold paint, and then I'm gonna sell them. Um, in stacks of two or three. So that's the plan for those. Another project I will show you. Another beautiful piece of hand-blown glass. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Um, know nothing about it. It was only $3. Uh, very, very adorable bird um, teapot. It has a name on it that I do not recognize, but I will do my research. It says Bird Twal, Elizabeth Trost, Trostly, Kimberly something. Yeah, so I'll have to do my research. That was a whole $2.50. Um, I have bought and sold these many times over. Uh, it is a metal clock uh, for your kitchen. It was $5.99 or $3. I got a hand-carved elephant for $1.50. Um, he's missing a tusk, so I uh, will probably uh, figure out a way to just uh, make, replace both of them so they look alike. And this is a, is this an African or Asian elephant? Do you know the difference? <laughs> this is an Asian elephant because it has small ears and they have lumpy heads. Yeah, so definitely going to put that out with my incense and other items that are themed that way. So that should be good. Another paint and distress project. These are so cool. They have this bronze look to them. Um, just a couple of, uh, you know, wall sconces. And it's funny, do you remember a week or two ago when I bought some of the candlesticks? There were six candlesticks in that bag. So I have two, four, and then six. So that worked out perfect. So these are just basic handmade ones. Again, going to paint them white, uh, antique white, and then just distress them, put a couple candles in them, and then take them out. I am painting everything that will not sit still. I haven't crafted in so long. I'm really enjoying putting the acrylic paint on stuff and then just kind of rubbing it off. But I will show you, uh, I'm going to put all the, like the shabby chic kind of chippy look stuff. I'm going to put that in one particular video so that you can see what I'm talking about. I'm trying to find easy, quick, cheap projects that I can do myself and flip for a decent price. These were two fifty for both or a dollar and a quarter and by the time I put a less than a buck a dollar you know paint on it and then you know rough them up a little bit I can ask eighteen twenty bucks for them because people are looking for the farmhouse stuff. So oh I didn't tell you these were sold as a set of course three ninety nine or two dollars. Um I needed a couple tassels for a project this one, uh, this one looks a little wild and crazy. Uh, these were originally, I guess, big lots. It's a tie back. That one was originally three. This one was two. I think these are the ones I'm actually going to use. So keep your eyes open for that. I'll add that in another project. What else? What else? What else? Is that it? Did I forget anything today? I always forget something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Monday thrift haul. Found some good stuff. I only spent maybe $10. Oh, oh, I gotta show you that. I only spent like $10 at the first place. The rest was from the second place and was very happy to find some awesome project things. Let me move these. Now, when you first look at this, what does it look like to you? <laughs> 
I asked Mr. Pudgy Picker, and he gave me the same answer. He says it looks like an outhouse. So, yeah, it does. But somebody made this $7.99, and then I paid, of course, half price. And this is a lamp, and there's a little place for light bulb. When you take this off, this slides out, and then there's a place for your light bulb there. And the cool thing is, look at this, it has other seams that you can slide in here. Isn't that adorable? So it's essentially like four lamps in one. So here's another one. Isn't that cool? Oops. And then the last one is a kitty trying to get at the fish. Can you believe that? That's just so adorable. So I saw that and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna do my research. I'm thinking maybe I could even put this on eBay. Um, I mean, just to see something made with such care that ends up at the thrift store. I mean, it's good for me, but it's, it's just, it's still kind of sad. But I mean, even look down here. My dad did a lot of woodworking. Look at this. This is called dovetailing. Now that's how you can tell. See the way those two pieces are put together? I mean, you can tell that's put together with care. It just wasn't slapped together. So very cute. Very happy with that purchase. Um, I mean, if I were to, it's got a couple scratches, but I have like a scratch pen I can use on there. Um, I'm just thinking that, um, uh, if I don't put this on eBay, I could put this in my booth for probably 30, 34 to $36, just off the top of my head. Unbelievable. So I'm very, very happy with that. That is just beyond cute. So very happy with that. Uh, I guess that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, thrift uh, store haul. My Monday favors that I always hit the two. It's funny, when I was in the first one, they always say, oh, you going over to the Brook Park Road? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I am. So everybody knows my what I do. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. You can leave a comment down below. Let me know if you what you would have picked up. And what do you think I should ask for this unique uh, lantern? Very adorable. So I guess that's it. I will see you guys next time. Go out there, find some good stuff. We still have a little snow on the ground, as you can tell. But, you know, one day it rains, the next day it's freezing. So you just never know what you're going to get around here. So I will see you guys next time. Please follow me on Twitter and also on Instagram under The Pudgy Picker. And I will see you next time. And I'll see you later. Happy picking. Bye.